Ever wondered what that little hole at the top of your sink is for? There can be one, two, or three of them, depending on the design. These holes may appear under the near rim facing the mirror. They may face forward if they're between the faucet valves. The holes are there to prevent an overflow and to allow air in the drain to circulate. If the hole wasn't there, a basin filled with water would drain slowly because of the resistance it puts on the air going out of the drain. Your bathtub also has this hole, but the kitchen sink doesn't. A bathtub takes longer to fill, so you may get distracted, walk away, and forget you're filling the tub, so it's kind of more necessary there. The kitchen sink has overflow protection in the shape of the divider between the two standard basins, and this divisor rises lower than the rim. The majority of hiking backpacks have a secret feature that can literally save your life. If you have one, take a closer look at its chest strap. You'll see there's a built-in whistle on its buckle. It's for situations where you're all alone, stuck somewhere while hiking, or you were in a group but eventually separated from them. Uh Uh-oh! Not all backpacks have a whistle, but those modern ones, designed specifically for mountain biking, hiking, snowboarding, skiing, and other similar outdoor activities, do. Now, speaking of backpacks, and I was, many brands have standard models that come with a patch sewn into the outer part in the shape of a diamond. We call this the lash tab, or as some say, pig snouts. Originally, the manufacturers came up with this feature so people could carry an ice axe during mountaineering. They made it from leather because they wanted to reduce the possibility of freezing. Of course, the average backpacker doesn't go on such adventures. But the patch is still useful because you can hold and immediately access some items like headphones or a bottle of water. Or tie your hiking shoes and some other essential things so you have more room inside your backpack. So, why do shopping carts have a grid system instead of being solid? There could be a couple of reasons for that. Manufacturers use less metal, so a cart is both lighter and cheaper. Also, the supermarket staff can see what's in your cart more easily. It's easier to keep the cart clean this way, too. Imagine if it was sealed and somebody spilled orange juice or milk inside of it. It's easier for a cart to drain this way if it's outside in the rain. Speaking of holes, why do you think laundry baskets often have holes? It's for the laundry inside to breathe. If you use it for dirty laundry, it's harder to vent the sealed basket and prevent your laundry from mildewing. Also, baskets without vents harbor way more static electricity. Have you noticed there's a funky little loop on your ski glove? Yup, the one on the finger. These gloves are specifically made for snowboarding, skiing, or some other alpine uses. Because of the loops on the finger, you can hang your gloves on the pack using a carabiner. Face their opening down, and gloves won't fill with any debris or snow while you're hiking or participating in some other winter activities, like falling and rolling down the hill, like what I tend to do. Now, even if you're not a professional alpine climber or something like that, it can still be good for you to use so-called carabiner clasps. With them, you can dry the gloves with the fingers upward. That way, if there's any condensation, it won't pull in the fingers but roll out the bottom. You know those silica gel packets that come with new bags, shoes, and many other products? Think twice before you throw them away. You might want to keep them because they preserve the freshness of your shoes or some other product you got them with. These bags are like a drying agent, since they drive the moisture out of their surroundings. You can use them for other things, like, for instance, when you need to dry out your phone or something else that got water in the wrong place. Now, when dealing with a stapler, you can accidentally staple pages you didn't really want to put together. It's not easy to remove them unless you use a simple trick. Pay attention to the front part of your stapler. See that metal plate over there? It's called the anvil. Turn your stapler upside down. This way, you can spin the wheel to the temporary staple option, so it won't be so hard to remove the pins. Yup, the anvil is there, so you can adjust the settings for the stapler. Now, we're so used to toothpaste being multicolored that we mostly don't even wonder why it's so. Well, back in the 1970s, people became more aware of how important dental hygiene is. They wanted their toothpaste to do more than simply clean their teeth. 
That's why Aquafresh was the first company that came up with a toothpaste that had ingredients for mouthwash too, which is the blue stripe. Later on, they added red, which represents ingredients that help you take care of your gums. Aluminum foil boxes have a feature we can truly call hidden. It's not like anyone bothers to take a close look at the side of the box, right? There are rounded perforations you can punch through with your fingers. Just press your finger into the resulting hole and hold it. That's how you secure the cardboard rule while pulling out a foil. Beanie pom-poms look like a cute, or ugly if you're not a fan, ball on the top of your hat. It may not have a specific purpose today, but it hasn't always been a fashion detail. One of the possible explanations says that beanies are something the Vikings invented because they were looking for a way to keep their ears warm throughout the long cold winters. After some time, they added pom-poms at the top too. They were supposed to prevent the seams from coming apart. Now, I'm guessing the traditional horns were added sometime after that. You can find a tomato pin cushion for pins and needles in many households. But check this strawberry dangling from the top. It's kind of weird, considering this fruit doesn't grow on tomatoes. But in this context, strawberries are there for needles you're using at the moment, so you don't get lost while searching through a bunch of other needles on a cushion. Take a look at the cap on top of your toothpaste tube or a cream. This pointed cone you see inside the cap is helpful when you're opening a new tube, because you can use it to puncture the seal. Yup, no need to look for something sharp or use your nails. Is there a pattern of blue and white bristles on your toothbrush? Sure, it looks a bit more stylish like this, but this feature has an actual purpose. Manufacturers design the blue dye to wear off. This mostly happens at the same time when you're supposed to be getting a new toothbrush. They recommend doing it every three to four months, but in case you forget, it can be a handy reminder. Many cars have black dots along the window edges. It's a cool design, true, but car manufacturers probably wouldn't spend so much of their money and time adding something that didn't have a practical use. These dots are something we call fritz, which are different than fritz the German guy. When the temperature in your car reaches extreme fluctuations, the fritz are there to make sure the rim of the glass doesn't shatter. Good idea! Gas cans have a very small second hole. It's there to prevent some sort of the glug that occurs when air gets sucked into the hole as you pour the liquid out of it. Because when something like this happens, the flow of liquid is not even, which means more of it will end up all over the floor. The hole is also there to help vent the gas and prevent the can from bursting in between uses. And that's a good idea, too.